back a little bit in the kitchen. So instead of having just the fruit or just the vegetable, we're doing we're doing them stuffed. Stuffed. So Stuff we it. did uh, a squash in the other uh, segment. Right now we're going to do a pear. So here's the recipe: pork poached pear with walnuts and blue cheese. Whoa! Oh, we got some fans on the blue cheese. I like that. Would you call this a dessert? Oh, this is totally a dessert, but it's it's my kind of dessert. We call it a cook's dessert. Yeah. Because I'm not really a baker. Like I right. can mess around a bit. You but do do it on the show. Yeah, I know. But it, it it's surprises <laughs> everyone, including me. It's not me. what you like to do. No, and like if I'm making a sweet at home, then I kind of want to mix it with a savory. Yeah. Because I'm more of a fan of the salt. Okay. And something like a poached pear is so easy to do, but it gets this wow factor. Like people are like, I can't believe it. It's it like. It is wow. But it's really not. It's not. No, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really quite it sounds simple. Wow. It does. It sounds. It sounds extravagant. It sounds very, right? Yeah. This so, is so hard. We'll start with some syrup, okay. right? Get some sweetness in there, and then we're gonna think about aromatics. We want to we want to pump some flavor in there. Mm -hmm. See what that is? Star anise. Star anise. Say hello. Good, and good I, you. you know, never use it, mm. so it's well, good to know. So you're gonna have some you in there. It. A big right? cinnamon stick, and then the real stuff. Come on. Vanilla. You can find this at most grocery stores now. It yeah. is expensive. You might have to take out a loan. Well, anything. <laughs> anything that comes in a container right? like this and there's one thing in there like there's two there's two sorry there's two it's probably going to be a lot of money and then, but that means you're going to be getting something very uh, quality right it, it you don't need a, a lot. lot no you need the half of it oh never mind <laughs> you need one yeah, you so, need a lot. and i mean they're 10 bucks so it's a 5 dollar investment but just split it down the middle okay. and drop it in okay, okay. so then flavor town flavor town this where things get in, excited I wonder maybe, what's in those bottles maybe people like the poor poached care cuz it's drunk they're like oh it's drunk so <laughs> i'm going to get along with it right i don't know <laughs> so this is port fortified port. wine from portugal right wow. it's a higher percentage it's like 17 18% yeah Oh! oh. Right. We'll put that in there. Did we mention after this dessert, just stay put? <laughs> <laughs> don't go anywhere don't, after don't, you've eaten right. this dessert. Like, well, you'd have a little bit. Don't eat five pears and you'll be fine. Um, this is red wine. Okay. So because the the port is a little bit sweet and we got the sugar in there, so just a so red you wine. Make it a Pick a bit heavy bitter. one, right? Wow. Come on. Wow. Cityline.tv for this recipe. Everyone's getting excited now, right? This is exciting. Isn't this good? <laughs> so then get some some big pears. Just make sure they're large. Yeah. Um, these are Bosch, but you could use Bartlett. You could use anything. Take off the bottom, and then the important part is on the top here. What you want to do is something kind of cool. You just want to start a little bit further down. Okay. Because when you when you poach it, it's going to leave this really kind of cool look to it okay all right now there's two different ways of poaching a pear you can do like the professional pastry chef style leave it whole poach it for like an hour and a half oh wow no no won't have that kind of commitment for yeah. a dessert or what we can do is we can hollow out the bottom and we can cheat a little bit and we can speed it up so we only have to poach it for like half an hour okay what do you want what are you looking for in the pear you said you want oh. a bigger pear you yeah. don't want it to be too um, soft though do no, you I hate the soft pear you want yeah. it firm make sure it's got some some uh, okay so firm. firmness to it yeah and then we want to take that core out okay so, uh, do you have any you know what you're doing with this no <laughs> <laughs> you got the small end, that's good, but this is a melon baller. Okay. And so you normally go in, and, and you're right there, look at this, three scoops. And you'd be surprised how like low the core is. Like, I think three scoops and you're almost there. You think so? I do. How you but doing? is that it right there? Yeah, you gotta, you're almost there. Okay. You gotta move a little side. Try to keep it in the middle, but if you mess it up, it's gonna be inside the oh, pear, I'm so nobody's there. gonna know. Oh, I'm almost there. Hold on. I'm almost... There, look. <laughs> okay, this is magical. I can't believe how great a job you did. Show it, everybody. But that's it. It's but fun. as you can tell, it's very good. It's very good. It's good. And you know, one out of four, one out of five ain't bad. I give you a little bowl there. <laughs> like, but don't worry about the trap. Now get the kids involved in the good mess. I have to be neat too and right? do it right. I can't do all of the can above. You can totally do all the above. Okay, so what am I doing with this now? So that is going to go. It has to get boozy. Let's see. It's perfect. Okay, Put good. it right in there. All right. Okay, off you go. So in it goes, right? And yeah. so what we're going to do is normally I would bring this down by half, right? So I bring it down like 10 minutes, so then it's going to get more concentrated. The flavors are going to come out. Yeah. And then you're going to see it's going to get darker. Because if you roll the pear in there right now, it's not going to take on that color of flavor. Right. So we bring it down by half. We intensify it twice as much. Okay. And then we have to pouch it half as long. All right. It's a numbers thing. Yeah, it it's sounds a total like numbers it. Thing, There's right? a whole science behind it. And then so you just give it a spin every like 15 minutes or so. Okay. And then you come over to it, and you're ready to do this, and it's like, what? 
What do we got? Oh my. Look at these. Okay, we're gonna get a shot of mm. what's happening. These pairs are boozed up. They are boozed up. They've been Look hanging out. They've had a good time. They've made friends. They've made, <laughs> they're partying there. They don't want to yeah, leave. Yeah, they don't want to leave. Look at. Wow. They're good. That, right? it's beautiful. So then. Right? Okay. What we're going to do, Trace, we're just going to roll them over. Okay. And we're going to stuff them. And now we're going to stuff them. We're okay, so stuff let's them. talk about the stuffing because you started making it already. That's not. You started with butter. Butter, salt, pepper, walnuts. That's just a, a basic toast. We don't need too much flavor because we're really going to worry about the flavor of the blue cheese okay. and the red wine. But pick your favorite this blue is cheese. Good. I mean, you could go Gorgonzola. I'm a sucker for this thing called Saint Agur. Saint oh, Saint Agur! If you find That's that, a, do you are you do you want to maybe take a little bit off of that? <laughs> you think, you think what? Is it gonna work? Okay, it's working. <laughs> it's working. That's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And okay. Right? You know what though? Your hands are dirty. Let's see. So you might as well go for it. Let's see what you got. Oh. Come on! Come on! Okay, let's just see if we can it's get it. It's a good all feeling when it all goes in. There. Oh, yeah. Get it in there. Okay, now what about the walnuts? The walnuts are coming. Girl. Okay, oh, the walnuts. Yeah, let's Sorry. go. So then basically if they come out hot, you could just leave them there for like three or four minutes and that's gonna melt the blue cheese. Okay. Or you could fire them into the oven for just like a minute. So we could just put those babies up there. Okay. Like this, right? I'm gonna wait for a minute. We're gonna take the salted walnuts. Can I borrow your cloth for a second, Chef? You know what? I have <laughs> one for you. My cheese hands. See their blue Thank cheese you. hands. That's all good. Everyone likes a bit of blue cheese in their hands. So we go oh, walnuts so that's down. That's how we're using right? the walnuts. So just a little bit of texture because everything else is gonna be soft and everyone likes a bit of nuts. A right? little crunch. And then, oh my stars. Oh. Oh. She's a beauty. And then, can you possibly imagine? Oh, that's a beautiful wait, dessert. Wait. And then Come you're on, take that is a, a wow little bit factor dessert. Oh, that even looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. Okay. And it's that simple. Don't take it any further. It's done. Randy knows how to throw a party. That's mm -hmm. good. There we 